today we're going to paint a Grey Hunter uh, Space Wolf model with uh, just a bolter, and we're painting it non-traditional colors. To start with, I spray painted it a base coat of a gray and used Bad Up Black wash on all the joints. And now I'm going to go over the uh, armor bits with aged bone. Next step in our painting is to use Reaper Polished Bone, and we're going to thin this out and go over the armor again, uh, mainly picking out the parts that you can easily reach with the brush. Uh, we're not getting into too many of the crevices inside, as this is just a tabletop only paint job.
the next step is to use uh, Master Krill's flat black, or really any, obviously any flat black will work. And I'm going to uh, do a base coat on the bolter with the flat black. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I don't like to put a lot of color on my weapons, because I want to bring the focus away from the weapon and back onto the miniature. For our next color, we're going to use Reaper Miniatures Tanned Shadow, and this is going to be the base coat for the skin on the head, as that's the only skin that's available. Next color, we're going to use Reaper's Sapphire Blue, and on this, I'm going to pick out that belt that this Grey Hunter has. I, since it, the model is so white and, and basic, I wanted to make sure it had a color that really popped and separated from the rest of the model. So I decided on this Sapphire Blue over the belt and all of the little uh, rune stones that the figure has. next color is going to be Reaper's Bone Shadow, and I'm using this to paint that uh, animal skull that is strapped to the backpack, and also the uh, wolf tooth that is hanging from the front of the model. The next color we're going to use is Reaper's Tanned Skin, and this is going to be the first highlight on the skin, so make sure you leave a little bit of the tan shadow on the edges and in some of the deeper parts of the face.
the next color we're going to use is Reaper's True Blue, and this is going to be the highlight on all of the blue portions that we painted earlier. Next we're going to use Reaper's Aged Bone and we're going to use this just as a highlight for the uh, skull bits that we painted earlier. Our next step in the process is to use Citadel's Devlin Mud Wash and we're going to apply this wash directly to the face for the skin bits to darken it and give it a little bit more of a texture. After that, we're going to use the Citadel's Asherman Blue Wash, and again, we're going to use this to blend in the two blue colors that we uh, painted on earlier. Next, we're going to use Faded Black from Reaper, and this is going to be the highlight that we're going to put onto the bolter, which gives it just a slight highlight without uh, making it too bright or too dark. That does it for part one. Stay tuned for part two where we finish painting this model.